Uncle Hoosh's hat. Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Uh, today I want to share with you the latest uh, J Rasa release for Emulation Station for Windows. Uh, now basically um, this is a work in progress build. However, it allows you to add favorites, um, have another list for your uh, last played games, as well as you can have uh, all, all games, all in, one, all in one section of Emulation Station. So basically to get this, uh, go to the link in the description, it'll take you to J. Ross's GitHub. Uh, this is his continuous build. And download Emulation Station-Win32.zip. Go ahead and download that. Now once you have it, you'll have it right here. Uh, right click and you're going to want to do extract to. So extract to emulation station .win32. Once that's extracted, you'll have this folder here. Now one thing I recommend is go to your portable emulation station or just your Windows emulation station in general and copy from plugins folder all the way down just copy this to another folder uh, and back it up so I've already copied mine and I did an, a folder called ES backup and I just pasted everything in here um, and the only reason I did this I, I have I have used his continuous build I, I haven't run into any issues at all uh, but because it's not um, a stable release I just wanted to be sure so this is, this is everything that you're going to want to copy and paste into your ES backup. Now once you back it up, or if you choose not to, that's t totally up to you, go into the folder we, we extracted and just take all of this here, copy, or you can cut. I'm going to close that there. And you're going to want to paste it into your emulation station folder. So you'll you'll still have your dot emulation station. It doesn't mess with any of those, uh, with your ROMs or settings or anything. You'll have your docs folder, and then you would just paste it in here. Um, and it's going to ask you if you if you want to overwrite, <clears throat> and you would say replace. Um, I've already done it. I'll just do it again. It doesn't take long. Okay, so now that that's done, um, go ahead and launch your emulation station. I'll just launch mine windowed. Now hit your start button, and you'll see in the options you have game collection settings. So we'll go into here, press A. Uh, automatic collection, so press A. Now I'm just going to do favorites. Uh, that's the one that I'm interested in. I'm going to go back, back. And I'll go back out of here. And now you can see that it's it's generated a favorites folder. Now there's nothing in here yet. So go to wherever you have games. Um, I don't have many systems on this build right now. So I'll just go into Daphne and Dragon's Lair. You can see that on the bottom of your screen, if you press Y, it'll add it to favorites. So press Y and add it to favorites. Um, I'll also do Space Ace. Press Y, and we got Atari 5200, I'll do Choplifter, and let's go into our favorites, and there they are. So this is how you create a favorites list within uh, Emulation Station for Windows. Um, this is made by Jay Rasa. I'm just showing you how to do it. I, I'm not affiliated with him, um, but my hat's off to him. It's excellent, excellent work. Um, and you could do others if you wanted to do, if you go into game collection settings, automatic, you could do all games, we can add last played, back, 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 and there's the last played, so this is everything that I've played recently, um, the other one was all of my games, so every single game that I have installed right now, um, 
And what's nice is this theme is um, David Marty's theme. So if you watched my Emulation Station Portable uh, video, then you know that this is made by David Marty. Um, and his theme fully supports all of this. As you can see, the artwork's already there for these for these folders or lists or whatever you want to call them. So, uh, again, guys, I really appreciate you watching. I hope this helps you out. Uh, I'm really enjoying this. I, I, I like the fact it's so easy to have a favorites list. Uh, this will definitely come in handy when I complete my huge emulation station build, uh, my personal build, uh, and you could do the same. So, again, uh, appreciate you watching. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, the whole YouTube spiel, uh, and most importantly, guys, have a good day.